Gloria. And it is from Peas, like please without the L, and it is 11 euros. Dare to be gold, you'll never be undressed. Okay, I thought it was gonna rhyme. <laughs> totally doesn't. I will not be able to handle that though. <laughs> I'm not cool enough. Okay, so that's gonna go into the giveaway. This is Jen. It's one of the only ones that are in this shape. Quite a large one. I wonder if it's because it's like a long tube or product or something. Yep. <laughs> looks like it. Oh, it looks open too. Yeah. Oh, it's open like the other product from Banana Beauty from yesterday was open too. But it's not like the product inside isn't open but the packaging is. It's so weird. Okay, so what is this? Hippie lip liner. Dare to be gold. A gold lip liner. Maybe not. No, it's not gold. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. Oh, that looks like a lovely color. And I guess gold is just like the dare to be bold, I guess. I don't know what it says on the this peel me, so you're supposed to look underneath to see what the next part of the line is. Dare to be gold. Na 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 na. So you don't look old. Or wear your lip bold. What do you think? Let's see. You'll never be undressed. What? Dare to be gold. You'll never be undressed. Okay, I thought it was gonna rhyme. <laughs> So yesterday we actually got a lip mousse from Banana Beauty. It wasn't from a Blissime, so it's not like something that goes together, but the, the color looks similar. That would be cool if it was like the same like shade or something. Hold on, let me grab it and see. So it's not the same shade, but it looks like it could go together. Like, obviously, the lip mousse is a lot lighter, but then I guess your your liner is going to be a bit darker, isn't it? Either the same color or slightly darker. Let's swatch it beside. Mm, yeah, this one is a lot pinkier. But they're not too far from each other. Could be a nice mix. Uh, even though this, like, looks lighter, the liner looks a lot brighter and pinker, finally. Now that I'm looking at them swatched together. I don't know if it's a good match. What do you think? I'm really not great with liners and lips and all that kind of stuff. I might try it and see how I look. I might look silly, but we can always try. Okay, so that's cool to get to um, similar things, you know? The same brand. Number 17 from Gloria. And it is from Peas, like please without the L, and it is 11 euros. On illumine votre regard. So, like, illuminate your eyes, or like your look. But they say that about like eyes, your look. Um, but it's not illuminate. I don't know. It's probably linked. Oh, a little powdered eyeshadow there. A little shadow. 
we have Blue Rouge Pure Pigments from Peas. Look at that. Wow. Honestly, I'm not super comfortable with pigments and loose things, loose shadows, loose powders and all that kind of stuff. Like, I'll go for a loose face powder, but like something you have to be precise with. I'm not really into loose. <laughs> Let's maybe just open it a touch. I'm scared it's going to go everywhere just from opening it, to be honest. I think this is something that's going to go in the giveaway. Oh, it's so pretty. I will not be able to handle that though. <laughs> I'm not cool enough. Okay, so that's going to go into the giveaway. Peas. I don't know that brand. I would say Gloria tends to stick to pretty nice brands, so it should be good quality. Okay, so a beautiful box, and it is chamomile, so chamomile, 19 euros, 90, and it is from Biothalis, no, Biothalis, Biothalis, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, did we not get something from them yesterday? like we did. Oh, it looks like a very fancy product there, maybe for the hair. Yeah, it is for the scalp. Oh yeah, we got the shampoo yesterday, or was it the day before? I'm not sure. Shampoo from them. Calendula chamomile flower. And So it is a lotion that you put on your scalp, massage for a minute with the tips with your fingertips and then dry or let dry and then oh it's like a no rinsing one. Oh that's interesting. It sounds like it's gonna be a mask, like you're putting on your scalp massaging it in, but then you leave it to dry or dry your hair. And it has like a little, you see, <laughs> only a little bit, like a little opening. Let's have a smell. I couldn't smell it from the little bit there. Okay, yeah, I'm getting the, the chamomile. A little floral, quite light. Okay, that looks interesting. Um, I don't know if it's something that I would need. Like, is it for dry, if you have a dry scalp or something? I don't know. It sounds interesting. I feel like that's something I want to try. It's strange. Just because it's so different. I don't know. Okay. It doesn't say anything about, like, volume or something, I would think if it's something that you would leave in your hair before drying, it would be something that would give volume at the roots or something, but it doesn't say anything about that. Interesting. Okay. Okay, moisturized lips. <laughs> this is a lip balm. So, Yvoshi, moisturized lips with the fruity and sweet scent of cranberries. What a surprise! A lip balm. Guys, Oh, well, that's quite pretty. It kind of looks a bit 90s, doesn't it? Pink with a gold sun on the front. Okay, so it is a lip balm. A cranberry lip balm. It is white or clear-ish. Smells lovely. And I will be popping that into the giveaway. Um, I didn't swatch or anything or touch it. I did break the seal here but that's fine. So, delicious berries, no, juicy berries. Oh, it's the same as the, what was it? The shower gel from the last time. And they have the little Yvoshi on the top there. Yeah, it smells absolutely gorgeous. Someone's gonna like that. Okay, on to my little box. Oh, look, that's cute. They got a little typewriter. Guess that's a, like, not your nice list. Let's see. Oh, 
we have writing. It's gonna be an accessory. Oh. <laughs> it's funny. I have a feeling this is for the shower. What do you think? Like an exfoliating sponge or something? It's pretty tough. Or maybe it's for your feet. It's very light. A little dome like a rock becomes a soft little cushion that is slightly exfoliating I guess when you put it in the water Okay, that's kind of nice I think I'll actually use that The texture is strange because it's actually quite soft and light but it's hard like it doesn't squish in much but you can kind smell. No, no scent to it. Better that way, I guess. It's 100% natural and biodegradable. A sea sponge. And it will um, gonfle. Expand with water. You can use it daily. Oh, it's for your face. Oh, I would have thought it was for your body. You can just let it dry and you can keep it for three months after the first use. Well, that's quite cute. I like it. On to look fantastic. Stars. We have a little spray, it looks like. Is it for your hair? E. H. Emma Hardy. Who's Emma Hardy? I've heard that before. Plump and Glow Hydrating Facial Mist. Oh, it's for the face. I was so sure that was for the, the hair. Okay, anti-pollution helps to boost hydration and plumps up dehydrated skin and fine lines. Helps to protect the skin against pollution, environmental damage. Evens out the complexion. Provides a soft focus and luminous glow. That's a lot just a spray. So you hold it approximately 30 centimeters from the face. That's quite far. Close the eyes and mist the product over the skin as needed throughout the day to refresh and protect. Alternately, alternatively, sorry, can be used on cleansed skin before applying serum, facial oil, or moisturizer. Don't say anything about like a setting spray or something, but I imagine you can put it over our makeup. Should I spray it? It's, oh, I'm just gonna smell it like that. I feel like I don't want to spray that everywhere. Is it like a clear? No, it's a bit cloudy. It smells nice. I don't really know what that smells like though. What is it? It's, it smells like something specific. When I went right in, I didn't like it much, but you go from a little far. Aloe leaf juice powder, citric acid. I don't really see any. Velvet flower. I have no idea. Well, I don't know. We'll see. It's interesting, but I'm trying to imagine myself using it and I'm not sure. I can't see myself using it. Like, I like a nice fixing spray, like, you know? But, I don't know. We'll see. And next, we have a glossy box. Glossy, glossy, glossy box. And it's makeup. <laughs> I'm excited. Sayate, is it? It is. I recognize the packaging. Oh, I love these little. ASMR pouch there. Just that little pouch. Okay. Illuminating blush glow to 
Long Wear Skin Brightening Blush. Oh, that sounds nice. Swirl the brush into both the blush and highlighter and apply it to the apples of the cheek. Okay, so it's, um, it's going to be a half and half. Matchmaker. I already know what the little compact's gonna look like. I have a few like this. Already. Sandy London Matchmaker. Oh, that's cute. Like, it's not half enough, it's like a little flower. That's pretty. Let's see. I'll swatch Roo. Yeah, it's quite a light pink. Blush with a bit of, yeah, with like a gold running through it, but it's not, it's not too intense. Okay, it's nice, I like it. So we have a little makeup for me and a little makeup for you. <laughs> it's been a nice little um, day there. I like the lip liner. I think I would have liked it less if I hadn't got the lip um, mousse yesterday. I don't know, I feel like because they're the same brand, I feel like it's like a little tie-in. Um, it wasn't from the same calendar, but yeah. Then the loose pigment for the giveaway. The strange hair product. I have no idea what this is, but I'm interested in it, which is rare for me to be interested in a hair product. Then the gorgeous smelling lip balm from Yves Rocher. Um, I re I'm not really a fan of lip balms, it doesn't work for me, but a lot of people do like it, so that's cool. Hopefully the person winning the giveaway will like it. Then we have this natural sea sponge. Looks fun. My, um, this plump and glow hydrating facial mist, which doesn't smell great. Oh no, no. Um, we'll see. And then this gorgeous little blush, little highlighty blush there. It's cute. So who has won for today? I think this one. Mm, yeah, or the sponge, or this one, just because I'm interested. I'm gonna go for this one. So glossy box has won. So that is all the beauty stuff for today. Quite a nice day. Let's move on to the non-beauty stuff, starting with the Yankee Candle. Number 17 is up here. Let's have a little look. Ah, nice green one. It's been a while since we got a green one. It's a smell. Yeah, um, I think it's called like a festival tree. Forest, no, something tree festival, I can't remember. It was quite nice. It wasn't very strong. Like when we were burning it, we didn't smell like a lot, but it was nice. And all that, like, now it looks all uneven and almost like separated. That all disappears after you burn it once. It all gets smooth. So let's have a little look at the tea for today. It's really looking like a shop now, like a shop where people have bought most of the stuff or something. I don't know why it looks like that to me. Okay, let's look at this little guy on the blow up thing. We have a post party refresh. This is a new one. Organic green tea with cinnamon Garancia and acai berry. Organic Garancia. I only know Garancia as a brand. I don't know. I didn't know it was like a, a plant or something. Mm. You learn things every day. Let's have a sniff. Mm, that'll be nice. I'm actually so more like attracted to like green teas than I am the black tea. Instantly makes it more interesting to me. Okay, am I getting the cinnamon? 
No, not much. I'm getting the green tea. And the acai berry. Acai, acai. It smells nice though. Okay, so on the morning of the 17th, I will be happily having a post-party refresh. Although on the 16th, I doubt I will get any parties. <laughs> okay, on to our gemstone of the day. Okay, number 17 is finishing off this row. Wow, there's really not much left. Let me remove all the ones that we've already seen. Yeah, you can see like there's a good portion of that gone already. Okay, let's look at 17. Okay, this one looks just like a stone. <laughs> yeah, this looks really... Well, on this side it does, but on the other side it looks kind of cool. What's that? It has like a slight transparent part here. And there's another, there's like some color going through it on this side. What's this? I wonder if this is the pink tourmaline. Tourmaline? Tourmaline? Doesn't look very pink. There's like a slight touch on this side. It's the only one it kind of looks like. Yeah, I think it's that. on here. Okay, so tourmaline is a crystalline boron silicate or silicate, a mineral group. The wide range of compositions and color zoning within crystals cause, causes, sorry, causes more colors and color combinations. The pink color is a result of prolonged natural irradiation, mined chiefly in Brazil and many parts of Africa. Um, the translation's a little funny on that one, but... I added a few words and removed them to make it work. Okay, this one is... Meh. It's okay. There's, I mean, it's, there's nothing wow about it. Like this white part isn't, there's something different about it, it's not white. You know what I mean? I guess that's the pink coming through there. But you really have to look close, don't you? Like, it could just look like another rock. Well, <laughs> they look pretty different, but also similar. Okay, so, does anybody collect? These kind of stones. I'm sure it's probably easy to um, start telling them apart after a while. Let's have a little look at the Lego calendars for today. Number 17 down here. Let's have a look. Okay, so this is either some armor that's just hanging out or it's a training dummy. It's kind of like a snowman with armor on. Maybe it's supposed to be that. Okay, so we have that. <laughs> okay, to make the body we have a white plain Lego head. And it's also to make the, the head too. Yeah, I feel like it's an armored snowman. Maybe there was one in the series, in the special, and I didn't notice. I don't think so, but there was no snow. Well, um, wasn't there like a slight touch of fake snow that was coming down when they surprised Peter at the end? Pop these on, little shoulder pads, or shoulder pad armor. because I think this um, helmet on here 
will be able to be used on like just a normal Lego. So that's cool. Ta da! He has a little armored snowman. Should I pop one of these on the back too? We can't see it in the picture, but I feel like it should have one on the back too. There we go. Well, at least it's kind of wintry themed. I like it. And some extra pieces too. Let's have a little look at the Harry Potter one. It's funny because I don't have to search long for the Harry Potter one because it's in the same place as the Guardians of the Galaxy one. All the Lego ones are in the same place. So, the second of the Half-Blood Prince. We have, oh, what's it called? The Dumbledore's thing to see the past memories. What's it called? Pensive? The Pensive. That's an interesting piece to have. Okay, so I'm guessing this just pops on the top. There. Yeah. And then we just have to make the base of it. On here. Is it? One of these white ones first. Yeah, and then a clear one upside down. make the stand for it. It's cute. Looks like a little sink. I guess it kind of is a sink, isn't it? Okay, and two little extra pieces. There are two from this film, and they go nicely together because everything's purple and white. Okay, so that is everything that I have to show you for this evening. I hope that you enjoyed this video, that you found it relaxing, maybe a little interesting. I know um, a bunch of you are following along with the Harry Potter calendar. It's the one that I have in common with most people. It's the most popular one. Every single one of my sleepy swirls are well. Wherever you are in the world, whatever's happening around you, I hope that you can find your own little bubble of God. For example, if you are in Alder Grove, BC, British Columbia, Canada, like tomorrow, L. Hey, tomorrow. I hope you're well. And I hope that you all have a lovely, lovely, lovely 17th of December. And I'll see you.